Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca and I've got some dupes, sorta, I guess, affordable alternatives. <laughs> Stick around. Welcome back. I hope you have hit that subscribe button. Please do if you haven't. And follow me on Instagram. Buy one of my t-shirts. Oh yes, you know you want to. All right, enough of that. Okay, so I have done my homework and because I bought some luxury items at the Sephora VIB and well, I have at all year and the Beautylish uh, gift card event, um, I thought I'd share with you some drugstore and other alternative pr products that honestly are more affordable and maybe just as good or better. I, I mean, okay, we'll see. Let me just say that there is not an exact, like, here we go, I found a replica, it's half the price, etc. <laughs> I wish I did. Sometimes I, ha you know, sometimes that happens. Whereas this time I found products that are comparable, that have the same result, that look really nice, that you will want in your collection, and you don't need to spend a ton of money. Let's begin with this one. This is like the challenge and it's the Hourglass Unlocked Mini for holiday this year and it is for ambient light. Sorry, I, I forgot the ambient part. <laughs> now it has four powders in here. It has the finishing, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. And like my friend said, it's a spicy meatball. We love it. It's fifth dollars with 20% off. It's not so bad. You know, it really is, there really is nothing like hourglass ambient light powders out there. That said, I feel like I've got a few that I think, uh, you know, you, you tell me. All right. To begin, Pixie. I just found this in my Target. You can get this off the Pixie website. You can get this at Target and on the Target website. This is a quad that is, it's the Honey Nectar Nuance Quartet. It is a face, well, you know, it's you can wear it everywhere. Um, it's clearly, clearly not the same, right? But, hold on to your butts, because I'm gonna show you something. So, um, this bronzer right here, and Pixie makes bronzers and highlighters that are, I find, I, I mean, they are exceptional. So that is the Pixie. Now I'm going to swatch the Hourglass bronzer for you. Now, hmm, hmm, I don't even know which is which, and I'm the one who put them on my hand. <laughs> okay, just kidding. What I like about the Pixie bronzer that's very similar to the Hourglass bronzer is it has a very soft finish. It kind of has this ability to, you can buff it out and you're not going to over apply it. You're not going, you can go nuts with the product and you're not gonna look orange. You're not gonna look like you stepped out of a mall in the 1983. It is, so soft and just, you know, I, I just find it to be a really good compromise. So I'm gonna take this brush, this is my Wayne Gauze, so I know it's a little, little fancy. And I've already put this on right here, but I'll do it again for ya, okay? And then I'm gonna go in with the Pixie. Now I think the Pixie looks pretty dark. Oops, I'm kinda, it looks pretty dark in the package. But look at that, like it's so, it just, it actually, I feel like it goes on more sheer than it looks in the pan. And the Pixie is 
slightly more neutral and the hourglass is slightly more warm. Yeah. So, and I have it up here too. And they just, you know, they are so, so incredibly soft. Well, both of them, but you know what I mean. Now, let's talk about this highlight, right? So beautiful. Highlight, not chalky, not glittery, not anything, not textured. It's just looks beautiful on your face. So we've got the pixie highlighter here. It's not exactly the same shade, but the finish, ooh, it's so bright. I'm trying to, it's more gold and this, this is hourglass, this is pixie, but the finish is so soft. It doesn't leave any chunkiness. And then I'm going to show you this. Remember this? This is the Rach Loves. You can still get this. This highlight. Oh, this palette, man. Rach, you just nailed it. Um, I swear that is, that is a duplicate to Hourglass. This is Pixie. This is Hourglass. So yeah. And you guys, I forgot. I totally forgot to mention this for the bronzer. Have you talked about, have we talked? Why is mine so messy? It has like liquid lipstick and stuff. Honest Beauty. This is finishing powder, bronzer powder. It's called Luminizing Glow Powder. This is Dusk. There's Midnight and there's Dusk. This is, I think, for a deep complexion. It can be like a brightening kind of glow finishing powder. And then for more pale complexions, it's a bronzer. And again, this is like kind of the hourglass where there, look at that. Like you think, oh, this isn't very pigmented. No, it's supposed to be like just a wash of bronze. You know, you just can keep, keep building it and you don't have to worry about, yeah, where am I going to put this? <laughs> My forehead. <laughs> yeah, this is 20, I think. So it's phenomenal. I was so shocked when, because you can just kind of keep, keep buffing, keep buffing, warming up the skin, and you're not going to get garish bronze streaks. Now, I also want to talk about this Pixie as a dupe to the Wayne Goss face palette, because I just picked that up. Where did you go, Wayne? Okay, here you are. So I just purchase this. Now, a few of them are sold out, so I totally get that. And so if you're kind of jonesing for one, you either don't want to spend the money or you're like, crap, my color scheme isn't available right now. Um, this is the Blush Peony. So it's shimmer pink and sweetened. And the, oh, geez, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. Like, so the fun thing about the highlight is it's actually kind of a bubble gum. That's like what I think of when I see it, like cotton candy. And then the pink, the peony is just, it's pink, but it's also, you think it's going to be this shocking pink and it's not. It's like, I mean, it does pop on the cheek. I will say that. Now look at this, you guys. <laughs> I'm just like, look at this. <laughs> so let me just put... A bit of the blush. I already have it on, but let's just kind of do this. A little blush. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this blush, you guys. This blush right here. It feels you're gonna you're gonna freak out because it feels like butter. So it's a little bit more coral, like just a smidge. But we're talking soft velvet. has a little bit of a sheen to it, kind of a Martin sheen, not a Charlie sheen. You want really, really subtle highlight, Doll Face All Aglow Illuminating Face Powder from Rite Aid or the Doll Face website is lovely. It's lovely. So let's put some on here. I feel like it's almost, well, it's a, it's got more glow than a finishing powder. I mean, that definitely 
pump, pumped us up like Hans and Franz. But you know, um, it is subtle. It is. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll show you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about it. This is my makeup radio show. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay. So can you even see that? Like it's subtle. It's just subtle. Of course, I'm putting it all over my arm hair. So yeah. I wonder if I had some other highlight on this brush too. <laughs> Eye crayons. Um, so Laura Mercier, what is this called? Intense Amethyst. Beautiful. I mean, you can get this at the Sephora sale. There is a Sephora sale. You know what I mean? The holiday discount event. Um, so you can get these caviar sticks in a set of four. Um, I don't think this shade is available, but do you see how it's kind of like this smoky mauve? I mean, it's called Intense Amethyst, so there you go. It's a, it's a purple. Now, the Kiko Milano from, you can get them on Ulta, you can get them on Amazon, $9, I believe. This one is in the shade, what is the shade? 05. I don't think they do a good, like, description of their colors, but look at that. Oh, okay, that's even, well, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> Um, if you watch Shelby Wilson, she talked all about these. That is incredible. These are so beautiful. I am actually wearing it on my lower lash line. I just kind of drew it on. But I, when I saw that, I was like, ah, that is so exciting. I think, I feel like one kind of hits the light slightly different and is a little bit darker. But holy cow, I, I don't think I'm going to buy the Laura ones anymore just because between the Kiko and the CoverGirl, so these are the Queen's Shadow, the Queen Sticks. This is matte, which is a little different. I kind of like the, um, you know, I like the, I like the, the, the metallic ones, but that is beautiful. But I do love the CoverGirl the paints, the little lid paint, exhibitionist lid paint. Um, I had, was called Nude something, and now I have, this one is, bum -ba -da bum Amaretto. And they're just so good. Look at that. I think Bobby Brown, I think Chanel, I'm trying to think of who makes kind of these liquid lid paints that these are by far a great alternate for $9 drugstore, cruelty free. Yeah, so um, it's funny. I think I'm like, I have the dupe. I don't have the original, <laughs> but you know, I bet you, you would find it. I love the Pat McGrath, um, the, the, uh, the dark, the dark star mascara. This is phenomenal. I love, I love the fetish eyes. I love the dark star. I love this mascara. I love the hourglass for tubing. Um, it's pretty darn good, but you guys, I'm so glad one of you mentioned this in my comments because I had mentioned Essence mascaras and then you said, oh, you've got to try the What the Fake. And I'm like, I have, I have one and I don't like it. And then I tried it again and then I bought a fresh one. And I think the one I bought originally was a dud. And now I've been using it. Oh, I love dramatic mascara. I always like them kind of wet and sloppy. I just, I don't want, I don't want dry mascara. I don't want subtle mascara. I want mascara. So you guys, this lash, this eye, this eye has the, the hourglass. So it's the tubing. So it's a little bit more like lengthening everything. Whereas this one is the what the fake, which I am telling you is, I know I'm not wearing the Pat McGrath and I'm talking about it as it's a dupe, but this mascara, it's $4.99 and it is the most dramatic, like lengthening, it kind of has fiber situation, sort of, but, but it's not weird. Like, you know how sometimes fiber mascaras kind of get carried away? I can reapply, I can 
add coats and it doesn't get gross and clumpy. It's so amazing. It really, really is. So I, I just feel like that is such a good, this is like a dupe to any of the dramatic high-end mascaras out there that you might be loving. So, well, I could do this all day, so I'll stop right now. <laughs> So that's it. I love doing this kind of fun stuff. This for me is like, you know, why I play with makeup. And so I hope this was fun for you. I love du making dupe videos. I love, I buy high end makeup so that I can find the low end, the drugstore stuff. So, you know, and that's it. So let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Take care and leave me a comment. I already said that. Okay, cool. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.